Have you got any dull and gray looking images in your catalog? Maybe they're so underexposed they're ready for the trash bin? Or is there an easy way to save them? In a word, yes. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and in this video, you'll learn which tools in Luminar Neo to use to quickly and easily boost the exposure of your image and give it more punch. And it might not be the tool you're expecting. Hint, it's not the exposure slider. So if you're curious and you want to know more, let's get right to it. Okay, so I'm going to go into Luminar with the same image, okay? So we're going to take this image into develop and it's a JPEG. Okay. So we don't have the raw information to work with, which is going to be a slight limitation, but it shouldn't be a major problem because it's underexposed. If it was overexposed and I'll show you another image that's on that scale, okay, we're going to be missing detail. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is go to develop. And I recently, did we do, did I do a video on curves, Rob? I can't remember what I even published recently. <laughs> I was going to do a quick one on curves. Um, I'm going to do a quick video on curves, but I recently redid the curves video inside the Luminar Neo class. So if you have the Luminar Neo course, go back and watch that one again on develop because I redid this one. Now you'll notice when you open the curves panel here, you could see the histogram as well. So if I want to correct this underexposure issue, I'm not going to use the exposure slider because exposure slider actually pushes the image from the middle. Okay. So it's adjusting more of the mid tones. You can see that if I, if I do that, it eventually gets over there to white, right? I want the, I want the information on the graph touching the edge, right? There's a simple way to do that in Lightroom, which is the shift double click trick. I'll show you that on a different image, right? But there isn't a shift double click trick in Luminar. So this is what I do instead. I press J to turn on the clipping warnings and you see these little circles highlight. And then I use curves to tuck it in on the bottom here on the right. So I'm tucking in until I start to see some clipping. So I'm just going to go to extreme. Okay. So now you can see what's happening is I'm clipping the snow, meaning it's going off the graph. You can see it going off the graph. Okay. And that will have no detail in these areas. Okay. So I'm clipping and then I'm just going to bring it back until I don't have any of that. Okay. So now I know that it's touching the edge, but not going off. See that? And it's brought it really nicely over to the edge and I haven't touched the exposure slider. Okay. I'm probably going to bring the highlights down a little bit. So there's this dance again, because I want to have some detail in here. And then if I want to go at a smaller amount, people often ask me, when would I use curves versus the black and the white slider? Curves can go a lot farther, faster. Okay. If I go further, I can make this picture all white. Okay. But I can't do that. I can't do that with the, the white slider. Okay. If I take the whites all the way, I can't make it pure white. Okay. I do want to also increase the blacks. Okay. So I'm going to do the same on this side of the histogram because there's no blacks clipping right now. And in this, and in most cases, you want to have a little bit of black clipping and that's indicated with this blue marker. Okay. Remember I've got the J, key, the highlights, uh, clipping warnings on that's the J key. So the keyboard shortcut, please, Rob, um, you can get our free PDF Luminar Neo keyboard shortcuts cheat sheet. It, Rob's going to put a link to that in the chat for you as well. If you want to know the keys that I'm pressing, I have a shortcut cheat sheet for you. Okay. So just by tucking this in, I'm going to get some black. Okay. Now what I've done is I've tucked this in on both sides and now you can see that it's stretched the histogram out, meaning I've got more contrast. If we just look at the before and after, see how much more punch it has. Okay. And I don't even know if we need to do much more on exposure here, right? This part here is sort of pure white and there's not a lot of detail here, but the light is very flat and, um, overcast, right? It's kind of hazy and I don't know we're going to get any detail out of there, right? So this is as far as I would go with this. 
If you enjoyed the tips in this video tutorial and you'd like to learn more about how to use Luminar Neo, I have a complete course available. If you'd like to check it out, there's two free preview lessons that you can watch before you decide. There's a link and how to get access to the lessons in the description area below. Until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.